Hello there, my silly pants, McDoodle pants. Let's get started here. We've got this nice little level here, level here which I guess is the th 13th level of the campaign, which didn't exist on the uh, Flash version. So I was a bit surprised by this. I actually thought this was a, a, uh, I guess, special level that wasn't part of like the main campaign. You know, just randomly one of those other videos like Rotten Forest or something like that. But I was actually pretty surprised to see that this one was, uh part of that. Now, this level is a bit bit difficult in the early game, and then once you get to the mid-game, it's just like, as long as you play it okay, you're gonna be just sad, guys. Don't worry about the late game. But the mid the early game is a bit difficult. If you don't use your reinforcements the right way, you're pretty much screwed. It's the best way I can put it. Now, what I do have is I have a nice little test coil over here, and look at that! On level 1, we have one of these guys pop out. That is not fun. So that's why you have to get uh, a lot of magic power over magic stuffs over here, and you're going to have to rain of fire them for sure. There's there's no real good way around you know, not rain of firing them. Uh, they have a lot of health, and they just spawn like crazy. So yes, you're going to have to rain of fire them. Boom shakalaka, get rid of at least that guy, and hopefully... Oh no, guess what? They're going to come back. So this is probably the biggest problem you're going to have, is this, this stupid guy right here. I don't even remember their name, but they are absolutely awful. They're not fun to deal with. If you don't kill them, if you don't kill them right away, you're pretty much screwed. And you do have to get a lot of magic and stuff over there as well, because they are good against uh, regular regular stuffs. And then we also got a barracks to hopefully get them inside my Tesla coil and destroy them in time, but again, a little bit difficult. I have to rain and fire these guys at the very back! Oh my goodness gracious! So yes, like I said, a very tough beginning beginning game. There's no easy way around it. You, you have to use your rain of fires wisely. If you don't, you're, you're straight up dead. Straight up dead. Uh, even with that test coil in the middle, you're just not going to be able to handle it. And I know a lot of people are probably think, well, Chris, that's because you're not using archer towers. You should probably be using archer towers instead of just going straight for a test coil. I can, I, I can partially agree with that, I suppose. But you do get your random fires back pretty quickly, and if you use them the right way and send these waves out early, you should be all right. That's the best way I can put it. Now, re now you have to be careful with your reinforcements because they magically know when you put your reinforcements on, uh, on that uh, cracked surface, and when that, when that happens, they're just going to, of course, be mean and make it all fiery, and you pretty much die. So now I got a few more of these guys trying to leak through over here, but we do end up taking them down. I don't even know how we did it. I guess the Reign of Fire did a fantastic job of taking them down. I don't know. It seems like the Reign of Fire deals with those guys very, very easily, somehow, magically. Not sure. Now, there, now one issue is, is your magic really doesn't do very much damage to all these uh, demon lords and demon spawns and stuff. So you have to rely solely on your Tesla coil again, which is a bit upsetting. You know, that's why it's very, very good to try and get your Tesla coil over on the left side as well, upgraded pretty darn quickly. It's just tough to afford all this stuff when you, whenever you, you know you need it. A few more of these demon spawns and stuff trying to get on through, but I'm like, no way, man, you ain't getting through my, you ain't getting through my defense. I'm gonna take you guys down. So yeah, we got the test coil doing more damage than I thought it would, you know, I barely, barely did it. And I'm gonna actually have to rain and fire these guys in the top there. But the only reason I'm really doing it there is because there isn't very many hard guys coming out on the left side. I thought there was gonna be way more, but they weren't that bad. And look at that, we've got a bunch of money. Let's get it up. We're gonna get this nice little test coil action. And we've got a little dog trying to run on through. Oh my goodness, we are going to kill him! Holy by Jesus! That was a very, very tight mess right there. We almost lost a life, but we didn't do it. We are fantastic today. Obviously, I can expect you guys to think this might be not the best walkthrough in the entire world, because, of course, the beginning lap rounds are a bit difficult to do micro around. Uh, I understand that. Uh, there's, there's not much I can say about it, but once you get to round six or so, it's going to be a breeze. That's all I can really say. Uh, there's not going to be very many hard levels anymore. you got two test coils already, and uh, these Flareons are extremely easy to kill because, you know, you already have all of the attack towers upgraded instead of going with a lot of barracks and stuff to stall. So, that being said, we should be alright. Now, you can tell that we're already in round 7, and it's only been 4 minutes, so I'm going through this level snippety snaps nerves. We're going, we're, we're going pretty darn quick. Pretty darn quick. Anyways, again, obviously, uh, Hacksaw is a fantastic guy to use in the right way. He's going to level up quite a bit. Keep him away from the Flareons, a little bit at least. Uh, oh, man, look at that. Is he going to die? Oh, he died. He ran through the lava and died. <laughs> I, I think that's why he died, or he was on fire or something. I don't know. Not really sure why or how he died, but he did. He did. Now we get a nice, easy level for us. Some flying guys coming out. Oh, yeah. Whenever I see the flying guys, I always just think, oh, nice, easy level. Fantastic. So as you can tell, it's getting easier and easier. Guys aren't getting to the back anymore. You know, we got these Tesla coils up, which are going to take care of these guys. And uh, uh, we built for late game, not for early game. That's the best way I can put it. Three Tesla coils, and I'd go really heavy on the Tesla coils, just because what does the most damage overall versus lots and lots of guys? 
The dust of the coil, it's what does the most damage. That's why we're using it. Obviously, if you can, use the rain of fires. And I actually did it kind of more towards the left side or closer to the entrance, just in case that uh, Bernie stuff actually was able to do some damage to these little guys coming through here. And a little bit of damage, that's all that really matters to me. A little bit goes a long way for me. Some more Flareons. Again, they're very easy to take down. They do a lot of damage, but you got a few testicles. Take them down. Really nice and easy. But we do have, oh my goodness gracious, a lot of these uh, spawner guys. These guys are tough, man. I don't like to have to deal with those guys. And you kind of have to use your rain of fire on them kind of early, but it's, it's it's again, it's tough because they're just going to keep spawning more and more and more, and there's just no good way in. Even if you have guys in front of them, they don't, uh, uh, they don't stop making new spawns of them. And the, the issue is that the spawns can make more spawns. The original guy doesn't just make the spawns. Now, I think one easy way to do this, or a better way to do it would be to have the spawns not make more spawns. You know, obviously that would make the game a lot easier. And, or, if you kill the original, all the little spawns die. I think that would be fair. But nope, that's not what happens. They just keep spawning and spawning and spawning. And on Pandabodium, this gets ever, ever more ridiculous. You guys will see it. Very, very soon, but it's on that last level especially. It's, just, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Some more demon spawns and stuff coming out here, but as you can tell, we're dealing with them just a little bit better, and I'm going to probably have to random fire them again. I'm, hope I'm hoping that I can get them bundled up just a little bit better than what they are right now before I do that. And uh, one good thing is they do give you a lot of gold if you do that. I mean, obviously, gold is important. Gold is very, very important. So let's try and get these guys over here and dying nice and quickly. As you can tell, the Rain of Fire did, like I said, it did a lot of damage to these things. I don't even know how or why, but it just does mega damage to them. And we're going to take all these guys down. Hopefully not one more spawns on there. And we're going to take him down on that right side there. fan freaking fantastic Alright, with all these testicles, we're actually taking him down. And also, uh, one other thing is you can't build all of your defense in the very back. You actually have to build it more towards the front here. Otherwise, those guys would be a huge pain if you build all your defense in the back there. There's not very many good spots in the back, though, as well. You know, most of your good spots are actually over here because they attack multiple sides. And uh, it's actually better to have testicles more towards the front because you can just do solid damage to them right away. And then, you know, have your, like, uh, cleanup towers more towards the back. But... It's just, you know, usually whatever whatever way ends up working for that level. Because every, obviously every level is different. And that's why I kind of like Kingdom Rush. Because every level is that much different than the last one. It's kind of interesting how they make them so different. But they're all so similar. Now my least favorite enemy in a long time. The Gualamon. Yeah, Gualamon. Gualamon. We're going to call him a Gualamon. It doesn't really look like that, but it's, it sounds cool. So the Gualamon. What do they do? Well, first of all, they're kind of strong. They're good against magic. They can fly for very short distances, which is very upsetting, because if you get a few guys in the way, you know, some barracks guys or something, they'll just fly right over them if they want to. They'll just be like, ah, oh, screw you, I'm just going to fly right over them. And uh, they cause lots of problems. So check this out. He's going to be like, oh, you know what? I see some guys over here. I'm just going to fly right over them. Oh, look at that. I just flew right over him because I'm, I'm I'm terrible. And he doesn't fly very far. He just flies right over him, and that's that's probably the biggest issue that you're going to have with him. Now, you do you can do damage over time with him if you have enough test coils and enough magic, but at the same time, they're just a big pain, guys, especially when you got three of them popping out here at the same freaking time. Oh, my goodness. So that's why you're going to have to start building some archer towers, possibly. Uh, more archer towers, for sure, than what I have right now. Oh, my God, five of them. They're a huge pain for me. I probably should have got a few more Arch Towers than what I did, but we can make this happen. We can make this last. We can kill this one, and then the other five are going to be slightly difficult to kill. But if I can rain and fire them in the right time, I should be all right. Should be all right. Another thing is that they don't regenerate any health or anything, so that's, that's a nice thing about them. And we got four of them built up in the same spot, so we're going to rain and fire them very quickly and take most of them down. Awesome sauce. And they give you quite a bit of gold as well. You know, two, 244. Four, yeah, we're at 500. Oh my goodness, 600. Oh my goodness, very, very quick, getting lots of gold, and you can upgrade a bunch of stuff as soon as you kill some of these guys. And also, the another good thing is that there is uh, a lot of room up in the top right corner over there for them to go all the way around that thing, Bob, with just archers attacking them. So that's another good solid thing about killing them. Um. And then, what else could we possibly do? I uh, don't really know. What else could we do? Um, hmm, well, we got a lot of these guys bundled up again. And a, a big problem with them is that, oh my goodness, there's a lot of them over here. Those guys can be a huge pain, but so many Tesla coils should be able to take them down, I hope. It's one, two, three, four, five Tesla coils right at the beginning here. And that's pretty much the only way you can take these guys down easily. It's with all these Tesla coils. Or random fires. 
Rain of Fires, but if you only get one of those every, you know, 60 seconds or so, so it can be a bit difficult, but let's just take care of them nice and quick, and we are going to take them down, and I'll even send out the next wave early. Oh my goodness gracious, we got a Cerberus popping out over here. This is a mini boss. Well, I guess it is the boss of the level. It is the boss today, but it is considered a mini boss. They actually tell you it's a mini boss. And he's kind of good versus arrows and stuff, but magic is his weakness, so if you got him near a couple of these little uh, magic towers, you should be able to take him down very easily. And also, I'll just rain a fire him really quick, and we should be able to take him down. But, you know what? Also, another nice thing is I got him in the range. I got a bunch of guys on the range of my Cerberus guy, so I was able to use the Rain of Fire and do a lot of damage. And he got taken down really nice and quick here, guys. Really nice and quick. A lot easier than I thought he was going to be. A bit more gold and stuff, but not really even needed. And level 15 is going to be pretty easy as well. Uh, the only thing is you got to be careful. You don't want these guys to multiply into billions upon billions of them. That can be the only problem that I can foresee. A few more testicles trying to attack him down. Are we going to be able to take him down? I don't know. It's going to be It's going to be close. Be close, but it looks like, yep, we are going to be able to take them down. The archers and the magic are just doing delicious jobs taking these guys down. And there's just one last one to take care of. And it looks like we are going to take this game. Whoop, whoop. Awesome sauce. All right. So that, there we go. There's Cerberus. Three-headed hounds with a very thick skin. They can devour scores of soldiers. Every attack, high armor, and a mini boss. All right. So hopefully this helped you guys out throughout the process. Uh, I think it was a pretty reasonably easy walkthrough to follow. I guess the only hard part was, again, the beginning part, if you had some problems in the beginning. I'm sorry, but not very many easy ways to beat this beginning part of the level. Unless you go with a lot of archer towers. A lot of archer towers can work out okay. Anyway, that's all I'm going to have you guys today. So as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, yet, go ahead and do that right now, and have a super duper delicious day.